I'm Kelly from rawarrior.com and I'd like to talk with you about two things that are so important when you're diagnosed with RA. Information and support. Maybe you already know someone with RA or you've been making some friends in an online community. If you're lucky, you'll get the best of both worlds. Meet with others for local RA support and still have friends online to talk to. It can be very baffling for those around you to have any idea what RA fatigue or stiffness is like, not to mention the level of pain you're in. And it can take a little bit of pressure off those relationships when you have someone who knows what you're experiencing. Let's say you said, I couldn't get that soda can open yesterday. And someone says, oh, I know, me too. And it's so great when you know that they do know because they've been right where you are. The other thing is information. Now you could probably get a good book at the library and maybe look at some brochures and that will give you some idea of what to expect and maybe take away a little bit of the surprise that you might be in for with this diagnosis. But you're also gonna need more up-to-date information the kind of thing that's published almost daily online. See, there's a lot of research going on with RA because this disease is a puzzle that hasn't been solved yet. And so you need information to answer questions like, is it time to start treatment? Do I need to change treatments? What kinds of questions do I ask my doctor? What kinds of doctors do I need to see? You might need to eventually see different kinds of specialists because RA is a very complicated disease. It's a little bit like diabetes that way in that it can affect so many different parts of your body. So here's hoping that we both find all the information we need to fight this fight and um, plenty of support to keep us going.